We've all heard stories about someone who does something incredibly stupid when they're under the influence of alcohol. Hold my beer. Actually. Today's Rapid Rewind brings you the tale of alcohol and airplanes. Today we're going to hear about Tommy Fitzpatrick. Mr. Fitzpatrick was out drinking with friends on September 30th, 1956. As the night progressed, Fitzpatrick brought up the fact that he could make a flight from New Jersey to New York in 15 minutes. The tale goes that his drinking buddies didn't believe him and bet that he couldn't do it. Mr. Fitzpatrick wasn't one to back down, so he sought ways to prove them wrong. Tommy went to Tedderboro School of Aeronautics in New Jersey and borrowed a single engine plane. He took off from the school with no lights or radio, and after a quick trip into New York, Fitzpatrick had planned to land his proof on the field of George Washington High School. However, the field didn't have its lights on, so instead Tommy made the fateful decision to land the plane on St. Nicholas Avenue at around 3 a.m. The plane landed in the street missing parked cars and street light. As you'd imagine, there would have been some consequences. Officially, Mr. Fitzpatrick had stolen a plane. However, the owner of the plane was supposedly impressed by his flying and chose not to press charges for Grand Theft Aero. Yeah, puns. The city, however, decided to fine Mr. Fitzpatrick $100 for violating the city code against landing planes on public streets. If you thought this was the end of the story, you clearly don't know how bar bets go. Two years after completing his amazing landing, Fitzpatrick was regaling patrons at another bar with tales of his landing, and they refused to believe that he completed the task. Tommy took it upon himself to prove his achievement. He stole another plane and made the same risky flight. Although his second flight was just as successful, his punishment was less helpful for him. The judge, John Mullen, chose to ensure that Fitzpatrick wouldn't repeat his mistake a third time. Mullen sentenced Fitzpatrick to six months in jail for bringing stolen goods into the city. At sentencing, the judge stated, had you been properly jolted then, it's possible this would not have occurred a second time. The most ironic element of this whole tale is that Tommy Fitzpatrick had its pilot's license suspended after his first trick flight. When he was stopped by the police after his second flight, he told the cops he had a license, but he never renewed it because he, he didn't want to fly anymore. I guess amazing landings are like Pringles. Once you pop, you really can't stop. All right, guys, what do you think of this tale? Is Mr. Fitzpatrick just a playful scamp or a reckless danger to the city? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, if you have any suggestions for future tales, let me know. I'm happy to dig into them to come up with new ideas. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and all that fun stuff. Well, until next time, this has been Rapid Rewind.